What's up, YouTube world? Welcome back to my channel. This is Templeton, where we talk about all things real estate investing, real estate agent tactics, uh, passive income, and hopefully some mind hacking and some mindset, because that's what I'm super into. So if you don't know me, I sell a bunch of houses. I own a company called Templeton Group. I own a company called South Rim Investments. I own a company called Silo Title. I own a company called uh, Franks and Beans. I own a company called Flash and Braun. These are mostly holding companies for assets that I own, but some of them are, you know, like Templeton Group is a large real estate team that sells quite a bit of homes. So if you're a realtor though, and you're wondering how the heck did this guy start all this? The answer is I just started with one house at a time. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was just a regular agent, but I did a couple things really well that helped me in the beginning that I believe can help you. So the number one thing that you gotta do when you get started is you gotta build a database. You need to figure out every person that you've ever known, every person that you've ever encountered, let's get them down on a list. If you're a computer person, get them in an Excel, get them in an Excel spreadsheet, or if you're like me, pen and paper, notebook, get them all written down and then figure out how you have a point of contact with them. Maybe they're in your cell phone, maybe you know their address, maybe you know their social media, maybe you know, um, what else could you know about? I think those are all the points of contact. Maybe you know all of those things, right? So now you're gonna actually be able to tactically reach out to them. So once you have this database, you can start to implement a video that I did yesterday called the 555 rule, which is five handwritten notes, five phone calls to people you know, five phone calls to people you don't. You do that on a daily basis. But if you incorporate a couple of these other things into a really sound database, you're gonna start churning business. You're gonna start getting referrals. You're gonna start building a database that repeats on itself. And like me, I don't really sell real estate anymore personally, but I'll still sell 35 to 50 homes a year just from friends and family that know me, like me, trust me, and they use me for their real estate needs. Um, I've become that person in their life who they value my opinion I make sure that they remember me. I stay top of mind market share, which I'll explain in another video, but that's just reminding people, hey, this is what I do. I love what I do and I wanna help you. That's what I teach. So once you have that database, I'm a realtor, I'm excited about it, I wanna help you. Every person needs to know that. If you're buying groceries, hey, nice to meet you, how are you? You know what, I'm a realtor. I'm super excited about it, I wanna help you. The grocery clerk's like, Jesus, what'd you drink today? I'm like, a lot of coffee. But that's the energy you have to have Every person needs to know who you are, what you do, and that you love what you do. So once you have the database in place, you start implementing the 555 rule, which if you haven't seen, go to my other video called the 555 rule and how it made me a millionaire. That one will definitely help you out. And then you start implementing the, the three things you must be. Let's call this video, the three things you must be that made me a millionaire. Who knows? But those three things are, I'm a realtor, I'm excited about it and I wanna help you. If that is what you are saying to people every day, and let's say that's five people a day, 10 people a day, I always love to turn things into a number bin. I wanna turn it into how many people can I say what I need to say? I need to ask for the business. I'm a realtor, I'm excited about it and I wanna help you. So let's say you did that 10 times a day. You did the 555 rule and then you had a, a new rule for five more people via the phone or via networking. So now you have 10 conversations a day where you're saying, I'm a realtor, I'm excited about it, and I wanna help you, you're asking for the business. So now if you work five days a week, which in the beginning you should probably be working more, but I've actually been a big proponent of less work lately. We, let's not go down that rabbit hole. Anyway, let's just say you work five days a week. Now you have 50 conversations a day where you're letting people know, I'm a realtor, I'm excited about it, and I wanna help you. And if that's your energy and that's your vibe, people are gonna start picking up on it. And if they, if you truly are putting in the work to learn your craft and become knowledgeable, they're gonna say, wow, Templeton really knows what he's doing. I would trust that guy with my real estate transaction. He's a little goofy, he's a little funny, but he really knows what he's doing. And I asked for the business. So if you go do that 50 times a week and you work, you know, I don't know, 40 weeks a year, which if you took 12 weeks vacation, good for you. Um, now you're gonna have, what is that? 2000 conversations where you're asking for the business. You guys, the law of averages just start to work in your favor. To become a successful realtor, you really only need to sell like three homes a month. If you're solo and you maybe have one assistant or no assistant even, and you just go sell three homes a month at an average price point of let's call it 
$300,000 and let's say your average commission is 3%, so you have nine grand a deal, now you're making $27,000 a month, a month by simply saying, I'm a realtor, I'm excited about it and I wanna help you. This stuff blows my mind. It's not difficult. The business is not difficult. It is diff it's hard. People phase out, but it's not difficult. What makes this business difficult is doing the fundamentals on a daily basis. So if you guys can create a database, run the 555 rule, make sure that you're having multiple conversations a day where you're saying, I'm a realtor, I'm excited about it, I wanna help you. And while you're doing that, you're absorbing knowledge and becoming better and better at what you do and becoming an expert and making sure that when you do get people to say, hey, Templeton, how are you? I wanna buy a house from you. Once they do call you, you go, you know what, I'm confident, I know what I'm doing and they can feel that. So as you do that, you get momentum. Then you get to one deal a month, then you get to two deals a month, then you get to three deals a month and like, like the numbers I just talked about, $300,000 average price point anymore in the Valley at least where I'm from, that's not crazy to go get, you know, a regular house is running 300,000 these days. You're gonna make $9,000 in commission per house. That's $27,000 a month. So. Simple tactics applied on a daily basis can be the absolute key to your success and happiness and everything you want in this world. So if this video was valuable, you guys, please subscribe, share it with a friend, share it with an agent that might need to hear this. And quite frankly, these business practices, they don't apply just to agents. If you sell anything, you should be using this tactic. So I hope you like it. I love you guys. I'm going to keep making more videos for you and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.